the Civil War, a war fought with obsolete tactics and modern weapons. Three shots per minute, that was all the best soldier could do. The primary weapon of the infantry soldier was the long, single-shot muzzle-loading rifle musket. Loading a Civil War musket was not an easy job. The soldier had to stand to do it properly. There was no chance to lie down on the ground to avoid being hit by the enemy. Every step of the process was important and unmissable. This was one of the most important parts of the drill. Percussion locks, rifle barrels and pre-rolled paper cartridges made these rifles deadly effective up to 300 yards. But the tactics were written and the officers were trained in the age of inaccurate smoothbore muskets, so the killing ridge levels never seen before. Clever and money-hungry entrepreneurs were looking for solutions to protect the own soldier and to help killing the enemy more effectively. The bridge loaders were known before the conflict, but this was the first war where the repeaters firing self-contained metallic cartridges first saw action on the battlefield. Shooting 20-25 shots per minute, that was the most modern way of killing. The repeating bridge loader rifle marked the beginning of a new age. One of these rifles was the 1860 Henry, manufactured by New Haven Arms. The rifle musket fired a 510 grains bullet propelled by 60 grains of black powder at a muzzle velocity of circa 290 meters per second. The paper cartridges were rolled manually in the arsenals. They held the ball and the powder together, but they were quite vulnerable to damage and water. The Henry fired a self-contained rimfire cartridge. The cartridge holding a 216 grains conical bullet was charged with 25 grains of fine black powder. This ammo was rugged and waterproof. The Henry cartridge pictured in the left was produced entirely on machines. The lever action repeating mechanism was not invented by Benjamin Tyler Henry, but he was surely the one who made the concept acceptable for military service. The closest predecessor of the 1860 Henry lever action rifle was the Volcanic system, developed in the Volcanic repeating arms factory owned by Horace Smith and D.B. Wesson. These rifles and pistols fired a special bullet called the Rocket Ball, developed by Walter Hunt in the 1840s. The Rocket Ball was a skirted bullet with black powder chart filling the hollow base and the primer attached to the cup closing the bottom of the cavity. This was a straightforward concept, but the power of the cartridge was limited by the volume of the bullet skirt, so it was not suitable for military service. Benjamin Tyler Henry, superintendent of the New Haven Arms Company, took the volcanic toggle link repeating system and developed a new cartridge for this rifle. His cartridge had a brass rim fire case. Henry patented his rifle in the October of 1860. The new rifle utilized a tube magazine under the barrel, holding 15 rounds. The Henry saw service in the Civil War, but not in huge numbers, so it did not have too much impact on the outcome of the war. The new rifle was tested by the Army and the Navy as well, with nice results, but the cartridge was considered too weak for service. Only about 1,700 pieces found their way to the battlefield. But the rifles achieved a good reputation with the rebels calling them the damn Yankee rifle you load on Sunday and shoot all week. Increasing the effectiveness of the rimfire cartridge was not easy, as the bottom and the rim of the case had to be soft enough, so the round will surely go off when the hammer hits the rim. The soft case bottom limited the maximum gas pressures, the soft rim meant problems with case ejection. The winner of the military contracts was the Spencer instead. Hubert's 1860 Henry reproduction is a wonderful arm, with a feel very very close to the original. The Huberti Henrys are chambered for the 45 Long Colt or the 4440 cartridges. If you want to be as close to the original as possible, go for the 44 Winchester Center Fire. The barrel is button rifled with a 24 and a quarter inch length. The rifle is available in steel frame version as well, but the brass frame is much closer to my heart. My cartridges do not follow the original load, as this barrel is the same as on my 1873 Winchester. I went for the most accurate load I developed. 30 grains of 3S Swiss powder and the Lyman 240 grain bullet, size to 427.
to load the Henry, first put the hammer into safety, then slide the magazine follower towards the muzzle. Now rotate the sleeve to open the tube magazine and load the cartridges. Hold the rifle in an angle, do not let the cartridges slide down at a great speed. When you're done, close the magazine and gently slide the follower down. The rifle did what I expected. I was able to achieve the offhand ten size group at 50 meters. The Henry is surely not the most developed lever action rifle. The weak cartridge, lack of four stock, complicated loading system were issues the later models cured. But to tell you the truth, I don't care about them, because this rifle is just great to shoot as it is.